Hello everyone, this is Noemi Banki from Bunny Heights in New South Wales, Australia and we are studying the seven rays and today we are going to talk about the, part, the fourth white ray. All the information we are going to see here is in a book called Seven Rays or Siete Rayos by Ruben Cedeño. So let's get started. And when we the 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 thing is when we see just a drop of the ocean, this tiny drop contains or is itself all the characteristics of the ocean. And for this reason is the same in let's say in in essence is essentially is the same is the same is is the is it the ocean no but it contains all the information or the qualities and is part of the ocean well with the fourth white ray let's have a look okay the the fourth white ray is in the fourth sphere of both the great 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 central spiritual sun and the causal body and if you see here the image we are seeing the representation of the great 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 central spiritual sun and people may call it God, Ishwara, Allah, and many names. So we are talking about the whole life, which is surrounded the great, great, great central spiritual sun is, is surrounded by seven concentric spheres. The first one is blue. The second one is golden, even though we see here yellow, but in terms of light, it, it is golden. And then uh, pink, we already saw these three. And then white, and so on. We are going to see also the rest. Green, uh, orange, or gold V, and violet. So we are here, we are talking about this sphere, the white, the fourth. Why is fourth? Because this is the first one. One, two, three, four. And white because it's the color, just simple, simple as it is. And surprise, it is the same as what we saw. But this representation is about you. This is the I am presence. And why I'm saying you? Because you, you are body, or let's say spirit, uh, soul, and body. And this is what we see here. Here, this is the spirit, this is the soul, and this is the body. Well, and if you see here surrounding your soul, or Christ, or inner self, it is the same, there are the same seven spheres. The blue one, the golden one, the pink, white, green, gold ruby, and violet one. All of them are the same. Which means that potentially you are all the virtues that it, it, uh, this fourth ray represents. So where are you going to look for this fourth ray? Within you. It's just within you. And let's see how. Well, the white ray has five hidden flames. Let's see. 
Transfiguration Flame, Crucifixion Flame, Resurrection and Life Flame, Ascension Flame, and Assumption Flame. We are going to see some examples. Some examples made by other people, but also how can you uh, use them, basically. Use, yes apply them in any circumstances. Let's see. So the first one, transfiguration flame. The transfiguration flame is an activity of the fourth white ray that purify and make transparent every negativity. All right, it's it's amazing because what happened and let me <laughs> Let me see. What happened is uh, that the other day, the other day I met someone, and I said something, and this person said, "Oh, I need you because you are positive." And she said, "I'm negative." Well, the first thing is the person doesn't need me. First of all. Why? Because everyone can be positive. How is the question? Well, the question is by using this transfiguration flame. We can change any circumstance, any situation, any scenario. Even the worst scenario, we can change it. By using, by when I'm saying using is invoking this flame. We don't have to do any physical activity because metaphysics starts from here, which is the mind, yes. So you manage with your thoughts. So the more you think positively, the more you can change things. Easy, easy busy. <laughs> Let's continue. So what we can say, ah, and here is the example. Do you recognize this place? This place is very important in terms of history and you will see why. Of course, you are ready, maybe. The definitive and full transfiguration flame in a human being marks a process known as the third initiation that Jesus experienced in Mount Tabor. Mount Tabor is in? Israel, correct. So, this is the entrance of this church, and well, this is in the Mount Tabor. Yes, what happened here? Well, this is what happened. This is the interior. So, Jesus used, applied, activated this transfiguration flame. And he got transfigurated. <laughs> and we see Elias and we see Moses, Moses around him and three disciples. Well, the good thing about it is that you see these, disi these disciples, Jesus' disciples, disciples, they represent the personality, which is physical, a uh, sheath, emotional shit I'm not I'm pointing just but mm, don't it can be anyone and mental shit so this means that he could positivize let's say make positive his physical shit his emotions which is the emotional shit and his thoughts, which is the mental sheath. When I'm saying sheath, why? Because they are covering your real being, your inner self, or your Christ. So, for example, another example that we can use here with this transfiguration is when someone smokes, 
and they want to quit. And they say, I'm trying, I'm trying. And you say, okay, well, you, if you want to try, if you want to quit, first of all, say, I'm not trying, just, I just want to quit, first of all. And then you can take the cigarette in your hand and say, you don't have power over me. Because this is a habit, it's not the real, um, I mean, the cigarette doesn't have any power, it's your mind, so you are talking to yourself. You don't have power over me. And you're changing a bad habit which affects your health. And then you have spent a lot of money or live less. So neither is good, neither situation. So we can use these transfiguration flame to change things. How does that sound? Well, talking about sounds, the transfiguration flame's keynote is in the same phonic work, Death and Transfiguration by Strauss. So you can listen this keynote, this piece of music, this symphonic work, and you can see the link in the description below, so you can easily listen to the, this work, symphonic work. You can also, you we can say this decree, this is a decree, okay? So, I am the transfiguration flame transforming all my life and affairs into good. Transforming. Perfect. Okay. Now, the other flame. Crucifixion flame. The crucifixion flame was experienced by Jesus in the Calvary. Yeah! So, he used a lot of this these flames. He used the transfiguration flame, he used the crucifixion flame as well. But when, when, when we talk about crucifixion, we always may think of something bad or sad, like you know, very sad that Jesus, at the end of the day, Jesus died. Well, died, but we need to remember that then he resurrected as well. So, but this is the part of crucifixion in metaphysics. Ruben changed the um, the meaning of this word. So instead of being of being something very sad or or um, heavy, it means the transfiguration. Sorry, the crucifixion means something positive. Why? Because what is a crucifix? A cross. Correct. So the cross is something negative, the horizontal line became positive. So negative became into positive. And this is the crucifixion. Mm -hmm. So, and by the way, talking about this crucifixion and re related to Jesus' life, what we need to pay attention is that not the 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 um, let's say the effect or the fact that Jesus died on a cross, but he for God for God or forgiven forgive yes forgive forgotten. No, forgotten is <laughs> when you forgive and you also forget. Yes, it's true. So, because he was a... He forgive, which I don't remember now, the, the past form of forgive, forgotten. He has forgotten. No, forgotten is forgive. For... Yeah, well, anyway. He use forgiveness <laughs> and for this reason he could ascend then afterwards well this crucifixion we will change into something positive from now on and then we can do what we can do is something like that 
We are not going to die in a cross. Don't worry, we don't have to do that. Mm. It's gone. That thing is gone. One of the ways of... Ah, let me show you so you can see. Yeah. One of the ways of activating it is to make the sign of the cross to everything that one wishes to make positive. All right, so let's get started. Let's say that the computer doesn't, is not working very well, so the sign of the cross. So you are changing something negative into positive. And um, for this reason, we uh, we do the sign of the cross in, in in let's say in our forehead. Why? Well, to make to produce positive thoughts, to produce positive words. We can do the sign of cross over our mouth, and if you want to have positive feelings, you also can do the 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 sign of cross. And if you want to have an ah attitude or positive actions, then you can do just the, the big one to yourself, to anyone, to a house, any situation. I, the other day I had an issue with a computer that it wasn't working very well and I remember I was okay. Uh, uh, I bless you, I bless the good in this situation, I made the sign of the cross, and then finally it worked. So, now from now on, crucifixion is positivation. Crucifixion Flames keynote is in Bach's Crucifixion in Mass in B minor. Minor, sorry. Resurrection and Life Flame. Ah, well, by the way, the keynote is also in the link below. So, Resurrection and Life Flame. The Resurrection Flame is an activity of the fourth white ray, which I already know, that restores everything that apparently is lifeless or broken. So, in nature, it's very easy to find this resurrection and life flame. Where or when? Well, basically at the beginning of the, of the day. Every sunrise is, you are seeing the effect of this resurrection flame. We are resurrecting every single day. It's a new day. So you can remember that. What about the um, with the what is this? Is summer? Is winter? Is spring? Is autumn? Of course, it's spring, because every spring, everything resurrects, resurrects again and again, and every every year is the same. You see, colorful flowers. The trees with a lot of fruits of flowers, the um, I don't know everything green. Well, all this is the effect of this flame, the resurrection flame, and it's there in nature, which means that you can use it as well by saying, "I am the resurrection and the life." And let me tell you about this decree. Well, when Jesus was a child, because he once he was a child, once upon a time, he started practicing with this flame. What, what he he did is just he he used to take a bird which was dead, put between his hands tiny hands, because it was a kid, mm -hmm. and then he used, and he, he used this decree, I am the resurrection and the life, I am the resurrection and the life, and then the bird became alive. Then he tried, he applied this resurrection flame with his friend, Lazarus, 
and said, Lazarus, come here. And that's, I am the resurrection and the life. And Lazarus came again. And of course, then finally, he used it uh, with himself. So he could resurrect. And there is a particular place in the um, in Israel in the church which is the Golgotha Mount where you can see the, the, the place and you can breathe this um, this energy because the momentum is there how okay by using your breathing so you just breathe in, hold, breathe out, and rest. When you breathe in, you think of this decay because if you, I cannot speak. If you're breathing, you cannot speak. Isn't this? No, it's not possible. So when we breathe in, I will say it while you are doing. So you breathe in, I am the resurrection and the life. You re you stop, I am the resurrection and the life. You breathe out, I am the resurrection and the life. And you relax, I am the resurrection and the life. One more time. Inspiring, I am the resurrection and the life. Retaining, I am the resurrection and the life. Expanding, I am the resurrection and the life. Resting, I am the resurrection and the life. Okay. Okay, so this is the end. The Resurrection Flames keynote is in Gust Gustav Mahler's Resurrection Movement 5 of Symphony Number no. 2. And you can s listen to this symphony um, if you like. The link is in the description. Okay, done. Now, next flame, Ascension Flame. The Ascension Flame is an activity of the fourth white flame that makes us ascend from the imperfection of the sheets and personality plane to the perfection of the plane of the Supreme Being's consciousness. When you read sheets, what do you, what, what do you understand there? Okay, let me see here. Sheets are basically bad thoughts, bad feelings, bad words, and bad actions. So all this, this is the imperfection. When you are doing something productive, something good, well, this is the perfection of, your, um, of the Supreme Being's consciousness. So, you see here, this is an image, a photo of myself, of a photo of mine, in the place where Master Jesus ascended. Yep, it wasn't mystically, it was physically that he ascended. And ascension is the fifth initiation. And he can, you can see here the mark, I don't know, the photo is not very clear, maybe, but it's just there in the mark of his foot or feet, maybe. So, what happened with Ascension? That this is a physics thing, physics effect. He ascended. Because, I mean, he is Master Jesus ascended because all his cells were positive. In other words, they start the. Remember the, a little bit of anatomy. Your body, your physical body, is composed of organs, and those organs are composed of cells. Mm -hmm. And those cells are composed of molecules, and those molecules for, um, are composed of atoms. So any atom has electrons, protons, and neutrons. 
and those neutrons are moving around the nucleus of the atom. Well, those electrons were starting working very fast and fast and faster, faster, faster. So fast that Jesus, his vibration, vibration was so high that people couldn't see him anymore. That is the same mechanism as when you see um, a helix of a plane, which is a fan, let's say a fan, and the fan is stopped. So you can see the helix of each um, three, usually has three, it has three, and then when you switch on this fan, then you start working and moving very fast. So you can you are not able to see it see them anymore. Is because of the movement. Well, with this case with the ascension was is the same. All right. And this is the thing. If Jesus could do that, everyone can do that as well. Because he said that the things that I have done, you can do better. You can do bigger things. Remember the story of the drop of the ocean, which the same properties or the same qualities of the ocean. So, Ascension Flame's keynote is in the prologue from the opera Mephistopheles by Arrigo Brutto. And we can see, we can say this decree. I am the Ascension Flame ascending me from this situation. Thank you, Father. Okay. And finally, the fifth flame is Assumption. All right, because with ascension, which is great, Jesus ascended, but he had to work a lot to get that ascension. Wasn't he? He didn't he? He had to work. Well, with this, um, with this assumption, flame is much easier. You don't have to work too much. And let's see. The Assumption Flame is not but the same Ascension Flame given to a student or whoever invokes it by state of grace without the need of experiencing any suffering. So if you remember, Jesus was on the cross. He died another third day. Then he ascended. All his cells or his electrons were so fast, so fast, so fast, he was a positive person, and then he ascended. Good. Who used, who did you, who, yeah, who used this assumption flame? Do you know? There are not so many. Just, as far as I know, Mother Mary. Mother Mary used the assumption flame in the Kedron Valley, I don't know if it's Kedron or Kedron, Valley in Israel, where she was burnt, and it is the enclave of this flame that made her raise to her higher planes. So this is exactly the place where you can go there and find the tomb, the Mother Mary's tomb, empty, because there is no, no one there. She was assumed, or she, yeah, she was assumed by him. Without suffering, without any issue, she went to perfection, to that plane. And the Assumption Flames keynote is in the air, in the area Lex Stays de la Verge by Massenets. 
Mm -hmm. So you can also find the link in the description below. So you can listen to this piece of music, this aria. So now, let's talk about the virtues of the wine writing. And one of them is harmony through conflict. Mmm, and let's stop there for a while. Harmony through conflict. Who has someone, some conflict situation, has something that they need to work on or they're complaining about it? Well, more than one maybe. So if this is your case, well, the, what you can do is use this white ray because it's harmony through conflict. It means if you, if you manage to stay calm and positive at some point, then you can change the vibration. In terms of what? Okay, the reason is very easy. There are always, everything is composed of seven, mathematics, seven, seven things, elements. Three, probably negative, and four positive. Always. Any person that you met, remember this, three and four. So three is less than four, which means that if you remain harmonic and relaxed and you just breathe, then you can change that situation because harmony through conflict. Purification. Well, we can purify, for example, um, if you live in a house or an apartment and you open the windows of the fresh air, purify. And this is a good way to stay healthy. Beauty. Who wants to manifest beauty? Well, beauty is part of this wide ray. Beauty in art, beauty in sculptures, paintings everywhere. Beauty can be also in nature, basically, yeah, always. And transfiguration, crucifixion, ascension, and assumption, we already talked about these things. All right, mm -hmm. how many things we are learning today? Mm. Well, people of the white ray generally are. Let me just open this a little bit so you can read as well. Okay, PowerPoint. So, if you are artist, sculptor, ceramist, musician, poet, designer, stylist, architect, and dancer, well, you belong to this, to this white ray. And such as, for example, uh, my, Michelangelo Bonarotti, Raffaello Sanzio, Leonardo da Vinci, pa Pablo Picasso, Vidal Sasson, Sasson Julio Boca. Julio Boca, uh, Vidal Sanzio was an Englishman. And uh, Julio Boca was an uh, Argentinian. Uh, I don't know if he's alive, Robert. Maybe he's alive, Julio, Julio Boca. He, he is or was a dancer. And Isadora Duncan, also a dancer. So, everything related to arts and music is part of White Ray. And there are some elements that belong to the White Ray. Let's have a look. Well, the planet Mercury, Wednesday. What does it mean? That every Wednesday, you know, every every Wednesday, let me show you. Every Wednesday, you are going to wear something white. Because you know that every Wednesday, every Wednesday, the white ray is activated, is active. So, well, perfect. We will connect with that energy to, to manifest beauty, to manifest Harmony, to manifest purity, and so on. How does that sound? The air element, the side sense, the buddhic plane, Italy. 
Italy is a country uh, which belongs to the wide ray. And you see Italians are the best in terms of architecture, in terms of fashion, fashion designers. They are the best. And Italy is a beautiful country as well. The essence of rosemary, quartz crystal, all the theaters of the world. And, and for example, there are some movies, The Agony and the Ecstasy. And it's not a very good, very new movie, but <laughs> if you want, you can see it. Faust Symphony uh, Movement 2 by Franz Liszt. Franz Liszt, Liszt, Liszt sorry, um, produced a lot of music of this wide ray. Opera Aida by Verdi, Verdi and Cavalleria Rusticana by Mascagni as well. And pretty much this is all for now. Oops. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you very much for okay. Okay, what's happened here with my <laughs> Thank you very much for being here today and I hope you have a wonderful evening and see you next week. Bye for now.